everybody, Julie here from The Sales Manager. Welcome to this week's sales tip of the week. And this week is the first of a series of sales tips that we're going to be producing aimed at those of you that are looking to start your own business. And you'll see that I have the lovely Paul Green with me from the business community. Hi, Paul. Hi, Julie. You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're very welcome. So the reason I've asked Paul along is our first topic is about networking and I've been a member of Paul's networking groups for a very long time. Paul Paul, he's had to put up with me for that long. Um, but I find networking very, very good for our business. So Paul, people starting up their own business, why is networking good for them? Uh, well, I think generally uh, networking is, is it's, it's great to be networking right now. Um, uh, for any business, startups or, or otherwise, um, because uh, with the lockdown situation, with the COVID situation, it means that a lot of uh, networking is pretty much online. Um, it's low to no cost. Um, you've not got to travel there. You've, you, 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 you're effectively just sort of uh, doing it from the comfort of your own home. And there's a lot of variety out there. So um, I appreciate that for some, if they're new to networking, it might be a little bit anxious for them if you've never tried it out before. Um, but this is, this is probably less threatening on one level than just sort of turning up to a physical meeting and uh you know with 30 people in a room that you don't know um so you know you've on online you always got the little x that you can sort of like click away and you're out of the meeting if, if it's not that great but yeah, yeah I, I would just say um you know that if if you're in business if you're starting up a business the best way of getting your message out there um, uh, in an active and quick way is to go networking. Um, uh, most of the groups out there are going to be very welcoming. Um, you'll find them friendly and supportive, particularly if they know that you're new to business and new to networking. Um, you know, we all started off networking at some point. Um, I know what it was like when I did my first meeting many, many years ago. You know, you do feel a little bit nervous. What I would say is, is do prepare you know, know what you're going to say. So, some meetings, you'll get an opportunity to introduce yourself. No problem with writing that down, just so you get the message across that you want to get across without sort of stumbling your words and messing things up and, uh, uh, and things like that. So, yeah, just, just uh, think about it. Get out there. There's a lot of variety. You know, just go onto Google, search networking um, in your area. A lot of them still sort of have geographic connections although they're virtual now and um yeah just just let people know you're out there start to build relationships rapport with people uh, let them know what you do and as i said most people particularly now i think that there's more um of a community spirit now mm. people People know it's difficult being in business anyway. Um, if you're in a fortunate situation where you might have been made redundant, you're looking to start a business, then, you know, I think most, most groups would welcome you with open arms and look to help you on the, on the start of your journey. So, yeah, get, get networking. It's never get been networking. Good idea. So you've given us a great tip there about preparing before you actually go along to the meeting. What other one tip would you give somebody who's new to networking to do? Don't sell. The, the, why, why is that important do you think well there's a t no one goes networking to buy okay they go to develop relationships meet people um uh, and if, if you're a little bit of a heavy-handed um you know with respect to double glazing sales people a little bit you know foot in the door buy me buy me you're actually going to put people off you know that they're interested in you as a person they're interested to get to know you a little bit better um find out what you do trust you and that's when they're likely to to give referrals because in in reality with a lot of businesses you're not really looking to get clients within the room per se you're really looking to get referrals from people who are, um, are working in the same target audience as you so you're not really looking to sell directly to the room you're giving people enough information enough knowledge about you the type of target market that you want um, and you do that just by educating them showing them your personality but not going by me by me it's just you know it's a, it's a marketing exercise it's making people aware of you um you know sure bring your electronic brochures put your details in the chat but don't come in and say you know i'll give anybody 50 pounds if they refer me today that's not the sort of thing that's going to work in my view in my view um, no, I, I would agree with you i i would definitely agree with you um people who have seen our sales tips over the years know that really successful salespeople are about building relationships. So great tip. 
and it's, and it's not a good thing. You know, you'll hear net worth groups say that. Um, uh, you know, I'd give. It depends what you're you're selling. If you say selling, what you're mm-hmm. promoting. Um, you know, if you're doing a ten grand coaching program, for example, it's unlikely in the first few weeks of uh, networking that you're going to get an opportunity. If you're selling flowers, it may be that you go in. Someone's got an anniversary. It's a low risk uh, item, so you. Yeah. Might business and I think there's a little bit of a direct proportion between the value the average value of what your um, uh, business is mm. and uh, the length of time it takes you to get that return so you, you have got to think of it being the sort of mid to long term investment of your time and money but like I say now it's certainly less money and less time that you'll be spending so why not check it out now um, uh, while we're in this situation then when it goes back live then at least you've familiarised yourself with the format of these meetings and, uh, you know, you'll hopefully feel more comfortable uh, meeting people uh, in real life. Yeah, brilliant. Paul, thank you very, very much. Great tips there. So there you go, folks. Give it networking a try. It's a really, really good way to build those relationships and generate some referrals. So we'll see you next week for our next sales tip. Um, if any of you want to follow up on this, we're going to put a link to Paul's um, website and you can go along and check out his um, meetings. We'll put that in the um, chat at the end. So take care. Have a good week. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.